There we go. Straight into game two. That's what I like to see. Rex versus Max. Pretty box standard drafting. Well, it used to be which doctor first pick almost every single game. <laughs> We had one. I feel, yeah, I feel like it kind of, every hero goes through their in-house phase, you know. We had, obviously, Witch Doctor back then. We used to have Underlord a lot. We used to have Lich a lot. Yes. Lena we've had. Bunch. We've actually had Rubik a lot recently as well. Metas have gone up and down. We found, used to have Enchantress when Tom was playing. Ooh. Enchantress Chen banned every single this game. That's what I'm saying. It was, yeah. The Underlord was is Tim's thing, mostly. So the meta really does evolve because I don't think anyone would think about picking Enchantress or Chen. Not at the, Well, we did see a Chen in the push track. We did see one the other day. Yeah. I'm not sure that was a person who'd played a lot of Chen. Well, I, he said he'd been, uh, he'd been playing a little bit. Okay. He came into the draft and said, I want to play Chen. Fair enough. So we said, sure. Sure, we're go gonna, for it. We're going to all go, just <laughs> fully for that, and just pick the most stupid team possible. Ten seconds yep. remaining. Go for it. <laughs> Five seconds Oracle remaining. and yeah. Lena band. So some supports band on one team and two big strength boys on the other. That means yeah. Void is open for phase one. Will we see another phase one Void win a game? He was open on last game as well, no one took him. Not until, uh, yeah, phase two he was banned. He was banned phase two, yeah. It's a good point. Well, they are using their reserve time up for their first pick. I guess the first pick is quite important, so. I would always say that the, the time on first pick as well is usually taken discussing what position everyone is going to play in. That's true, that's not always apparent. Ogre comes out again. He's such a good hero. I think when Owen finally you know, is is able to put some more time into the website. Obviously it's a passion project, so there's no sure, yeah. there's no, no you pressure, know, pressure him. for him. But he has the ability, Ten he's already done some remaining. testing, to pull up the stats of certain heroes. And I think Ogre maybe so has cool. one of Five the best record remaining. of all time in our own houses. He really? has the most banned heroes as well. Yeah, it's he just works. Lich Mars. So, I mean, so now you're trapped in and the chain frost that. bouncing around. Pretty good. Yeah. Really good. Already a good I combo. I'm not the biggest fan of Ogre. I think he's he can be quite underwhelming in some games. Um, he's a really strong laner, so if you compare him up with someone who's good in lane... Yeah, he, he is. I think it's just seconds, he's a buff the core kind of hero. He does high yeah. magic damage no matter what, because multicast ignites and fire blasts are really yeah. strong. And then, and then he just casts bloodlust. In fact, he's a hero without an ultimate. You're playing a hero who just needs to press three abilities. Yeah. Don't even worry about an ult. The ult's for free. That's what makes Ogre such a good hero, quite noob friendly. Anyone can have good impact on him because even worse comes to worse, you're still bloodlusting your cause. Yeah. So I mean, we might have talked about this last time, but my last Ogre game, one sixteen, still won the game. No, there you go. Bloodlusted my core. Yeah, and then you can turn up in the late game randomly do a four times multicast. It's like a thousand <laughs> yeah, magic damage coming out of nowhere. You're like, oh, why have I just been one shot by the and plus five? Four seconds stun. Yeah, the plus five is just. Stunned me forever, done a thousand yeah. damage to me. Why has this happened? Because the Ogre. Thing with, uh, the in houses, I was saying, is that Ogre is probably currently in the. Well, actually, over all time, he's probably been a lot in the meta, but heroes like Abaddon, we haven't seen in ages. He went through a phase of getting pick the band almost every game, man. thanks to Brex mostly. Multiple phases, though. Like he, he yeah. did that came for a while, then they stopped yeah, picking him really. entirely, then it came back, then it's gone again. I mean, Brex has a bad and not banned, and he had the opportunity to pick it, so he's chosen not to because yeah. center on Ogre, I don't feel like a bad coming out as well as this. Ten seconds ready. to be fair. Yeah. So but then we had the uh, like Oli Legion phase, we had a few games of that, a few yeah. games of Ollie's Doom. Yes, um, yes, Ollie's Doom is pretty good. Ollie's gone through a lot of phases. His Willow yeah, always comes back Willow, and forth. Yeah. His Kunk has always... I guess it's not really a phase. It's more like he just plays so many different heroes and he has a lot of impact. So, Well, when like I played in-house against good. Ollie at the very beginning, right? yes, he's very good, like you said, but Five when I played in-house at the beginning, I played mid pretty yeah. much all because that's my role. 
Yeah. And I was most of the time I was laying against Ollie, and I played against a whole assortment of stupid Enchantress I mean, yeah, mid, I... <laughs> um, Dark Willow mid. You know, he doesn't. He, he didn't used to play the typical mids, but now he has extended himself. He has played Queen yeah. of Pain. He has played Void Spirit. You know, he can play Storm Spirit. He's actually played a lot of Storm, more than most people realize. He's got hundreds of games on Storm. Yeah. He's very uh, versatile. Ollie's probably yeah the person I learn against the most in houses as well. And... So Radiant, deep, interesting to see what if one day I'll ever play an in-house randomly. I think you should. I yeah, come I back. could do. I don't know how... Well, I guess you just get someone else to stream and cast on your channel. Yeah. Ten seconds it always just to be my perspective. I'm not massively, Sport like, that, super yeah. keen to Five seconds play remaining. it, but maybe one time I could. Yeah, if we need that extra person. Yeah. We'd rather have an offline in house than no in house at all, I feel. Okay. Sapphire's great here, I think. Goblin up and throw in that centaur. Yeah, you've got two strength, strength boys and ogre at the moment. Team pick. What's coming next? Warlock. Oh, All right, Lord. we're going team fight central here. We've got Mars, then the Golem goes in. You've got the Lich Ult, which is being amplified by the Fatal Bonds. That's pretty scary. The thing it isn't is they haven't set up well for Mars's lane. Is anything? And not they, those two supports do not have much kill potential. I say Lich does a bit more than Warlock. So hopefully they lane the Lich with the Mars. I you could do a Lich Mars. Fun. Yeah, I think you could run a Lich Mars if he plays aggressively enough. And yeah, you know, Lich has a lot of damage. Lich does. Yeah, you're right. Not the the problem with Lich, five fifty attack range, one base armor, only like fifty base attack. He cannot trade yeah, any support in right clicks. He can trade with spells. Then he's got to back off. Especially when it's Ogre Magi. Yeah, oh yeah, if Ogre Magi gets on top of Lich, Lich might as well just yeah. give up. Yeah, I played a rank game earlier. The two supports were Jakira on my lane, and I think it was Ogre on. Oh no, it was Tree and Protector on the other one. Oh, Trent. And I was Rubik, and I was like, I don't want to lane against either of these guys because they are just gonna wreck me in trading. So yeah, I just went boots and I ran away from them. I lost the game to a really good Trent recently. Um, tough, tough lane. If it's a really good yeah, Trent player. Yeah. Comes out, hits you for like 90 damage. You can't trade back against that. He's in the trees all the time. He's, He's healing his trees, core. Yeah. If you go on his core, just massive heal on him. He keeps punching you. And that level one, um, nature's vines, but nature's graph, I think it's called. If you position it really well, so they have to walk through it, it's it's really strong. Yeah. He's an incredible hero. We've got Ursa. Here. We've not yeah. seen for a very long time. I mean. I, there was an Ursa in, in the epicenter thing, wasn't there? Wasn't there like um, all the Dota that's going on now? There was an yeah, uh, there was an Urn Battle Fury Ursa, like randomly oh, I saw you Brex talking about it. Yeah. Why was there an Urn game. on an Ursa who then went Battle Fury? It was very odd. No idea. But it, he did well, I guess. I mean, I feel like Ursa's a hero. He went from literally hero to zero, and all they nerfed was like a tiny bit of percent slow on his thunder clap. So I'm really not sure why he fell off so quickly, but you know he's still a strong hero. Everyone knows, no matter how bad Ursa is, a state in the game, if you just let him get near you, he will kill you instantly, no matter yeah. what. You always have to respect you, the Ursa. He doesn't care about Bulwark. He doesn't care. He can just keep. Well, work a little bit, maybe not in lane, but. No. You can't one shot a Mars, though. If you get on top of Warlock, I think Lich actually is pretty good against Ursa, so maybe I'm not that convinced about picking Ursa into Lich because if Lich pops the Frost Shield on someone, you're not going to kill them. Yeah, and a good Death Prophet pick as well. I mean, these four heroes on the die are all pretty tanky by 30 40 minutes, so that Spirit Siphon is going to do a lot of damage. It is, and then you just run around in the Mars's ult, killing everyone. You've got Silence yeah. for Ursa. Five um, seconds remaining. Yeah, I think it's a strong pick. Definitely will think about a Yules on the Death Prophet. Yeah, definitely. Got to pick um, I mean, I think Yules is, you know, an essential on Death Prophet for any game. 
most games i would be looking is. yeah because she needs the move speed she needs the mana regen it's so good for protecting herself yeah. or yeah just the delaying a bit of time siphon plus yours yes or even, and when you're used up you're doing spirit siphon damage you're doing ult damage you're you know buying time for your ult to end so that you can heal you're healing with your spirit siphons there's just so much yeah you're right it's you can get out of it probably plus the, the mana items. regen plus the movement it all adds up and it's just like the perfect item for her. It's just the perfect item for anyone. You've got the point where if you're a pulse oh, three, yeah. you don't know what to get. You just grab a Yule's Mars, <laughs> Yule's Tiny, Mars Yule's. Well. It, it just doesn't matter. Anyone's buying Yule's now. Everyone can. Every yeah. hero buy Yule's. What an item it is. I feel like it, that item may get the nerf, but it's not. I think so. It's not that oppressive. You don't look at Yule's and think, no. "Wow, this item's ruining the game." Oh. Razor. Okay. That's. That's a Noodles hero. He's pretty good, damn good at Razor. Yeah, true, I, actually. I guess, in a way, it can be good against Ursa, because Ursa's base damage is already so low. If you take it all away, then he's literally Ten just relying on Fury Swipe stacks. You're yeah. so fast. Razor and has one. Is, yeah, Ursa is not catching Death Prophet or Razor. No, you have so to one-shot them. They or... need to find a way. I mean, he has got the Stampede, which is really useful for him. Oh, that's good for Ursa, that's true. But you can't chase the... Razor is basically moving at haste speed anyway. He's likely yeah. to go Manta or Sanj and Yasha. So he's going to be uncatchable. Death Prophet by... Is it level 20, the talent, where it's haste moves? No, that's 25. Oh, okay. That's 25. So maybe a bit later on, then. But against, that still um, can be a... It's against eight more Wind spirits. Ranger. Ollie Windranger. Okay. Ollie Windranger. I mean... If Windranger gets a good game, it doesn't matter what the draft is. She'll just run yeah. around and one-shot you with them. And we've seen that before with Lost Pit Windranger's Juju a couple like a week ago. He went off with a Lost Pit Windranger. He did. Um, not sure about the game. It's not great against Mars, but no, it's not great because Mars can, of course, absorb seventy percent of all damage. Yeah. Just bring it straight to him. And also. You know, if everyone's in the arena and Windranger's on the outside or on the inside, she can't do damage over the wall. No, either. she can't. So I feel like the Dire have kind of countered themselves a lot. Like picking Ursa into a Lich and then picking Windranger into a Mars <laughs> just feels like you've drafted in reverse. But I do think, though, that the... Hmm... Actually, I don't. I was going to say, I think Windranger will be all right against Death Prophet and Razor, but also... You know, the way Windranger kills people is she ults and then she runs and she keeps uh, in contact with them. Which is exactly what Death Prophet and Razor want as well. So Yeah, you're taking a lot of damage in return. <laughs> they're both just kind of killing each other and it's at that point who can kill them the quickest. I don't think Windranger will win that fight. I feel like Death Prophet should just get a Blade Mail because if you've got Blade yeah. Mail and you've got your ult up, Windranger can never go on you, ever. And then... Blade Mail will be huge this game, especially with the Ursa as well, because Ursa does burst damage. If he's got his Empower up, he wants to be hitting you. Got a bit of a pause. I'll just swap to oh, the multicams that. just for fun. While we're waiting. I mean, this is anyone's game, because even... Um... Even like the Dire, they still have stuns. They've still got Wind Ranger. They can find pick offs. Snapfire may get Aghanims, throw a Centaur or Ursa in. Yeah. I just feel like Radiant for me would be my vote when it comes to the draft. Oh, that, that reminds you, Karen. Get the pole up. The next level play. The next level play. The next level play. The pole. Yeah, I think uh, definitely Blade Mail and Death Prophet this game would be massive. You could even... Uh, I don't think there's much point getting it on Razor or Mars. Razors can do it sometimes. Damage. I don't like it on Mars because Mars takes quite a lot less damage anyway. Blade Mail kind of counterintuitive. This is what I always said about uh, Bristleback. When Bristleback's built Blade Mail, it was kind of like, but you don't take any damage anyway, so why are you giving back the minimal amount of damage that you're taking. And if you're putting blade if you're taking so, a lot of damage is... then something's gone wrong anyway. Why are the enemy team doing so much damage to yeah. you? build a tanky item. But I guess at that stage, if you're taking a lot of damage and you use that blade mail, you know, they've got one chance to blow you up. And the blade mail gives you, you know, three or four seconds of they're taking quill sprays and blade mail damage, so maybe they'll get scared off. Mm, true. So maybe that's why people used to get it. I can't remember who we're waiting for. I think the pause came from 
veteran. But no one's yeah. disconnected yet. I mean, he's there on the camera, right? Like, I can... <laughs> The only person not on webcam is JCA Midnight, so we're assuming it's one of those two people who are not ready. Yeah. Are they on that team? On uh, midnight team. is now ready. Okay, it was Midnight. midnight. Alright. In which case, we go back to normal. And we can bring up the pole. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to vote. I don't vote, but my my opinion is radiant. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that. I, I think mean, the, Noodle's uh, Death Prophet is also pretty scary, so. Yeah, and their team fight is ungodly. Yeah, it is. It's huge. Hmm, interesting start on a centaur to get a wind lace. It's a fast Centaur. I'm not sure if Centaur oh. needs that much move speed. Who's he laning against? He's laning against Lich and Lich Razor. Speed. I guess maybe you want to get away from the it Razor. Work. Yeah, you don't want to be getting that. So, but I mean, as we spoke about before, they're not laning the Lich with the Mars. So to battle. I think this Ursa will have a pretty decent time in this lane top, uh, and hopefully get some good farm. Yeah, I feel like you want, you know, Ursa's going in the safe lane. You want to put Lich against Ursa. You max out Frost Shield. Ursa starts doing damage. Well, you got Frost Shield. You're slowing him. Like you're that. taking massive yeah. damage reduction. People don't vote, man. Vote on those polls. Where are my lurkers at? I mean, some people might be the players kept the stream open or something. That's a lot of damage going onto the uh, bot lane, but veterans, like, I don't care. I'm stealing so much damage. It's worth. Gets hit by a power shot, but has stolen 34 damage. He's going to be hitting you with about 80 damage. Look at your bait mail. I'm not sure you want to be fighting a Razor, to be honest. You're not doing much I mean, damage compared to him. Fun. But you're doing none because you've lost all of your damage. If he can catch up, though. He can. Yeah. yeah. He's dead. He is dead. I think that was a mistake from Veteran turning around yeah. there. I think that may have been um, a misclick. I think he underestimated the, uh, the damage of the two spells together. Maybe he didn't see the snap fire coming. Level 1 Hoof Stomp. It's 100 magic damage. It's pretty powerful. Uh, Miles with the taunting. He's very good at using taunts. Yeah. That's his. Uh, not quite as good as the top, but he's good. Toby, probably the, the, the person you least expect to be great at taunting. It's because he's a quiet boy, so like yeah. he has to bring it out on his taunt. <laughs> There's so much fighting going on here. Doidge versus Kinder. Somehow Warlock is holding his own against a seven armor ogre. The, I like the poll because it kind of also shows me how many of the viewers are like actively engaging. <laughs> and how many, many. Are, how many like have it open yeah. but are not really watching. But you know, I'll take right. whoever I can get. Everyone in the chat who hasn't voted, your name has been noted. You're on the block list next time. that would be blocking like my entire channel. <laughs> yeah. Midnight's trying to get a kill on JCA. He may actually find it. No, he's not because he takes so much damage from the creeps because the Wildwing Ripper was hitting him the entire time. And so, Midnight's actually going to go down. Yeah, unfortunate. He was taking. I think the uh, Frost Shield must have aggroed them as well. So. Kind of annoying. I guess it's fair enough for my viewers who don't actually really know much about Dota or the <laughs> players. <laughs> just, yeah. But just, just go for a random vote, you know? Yeah, you, might you like right. Ollie's you vote, 50 /50. vote for Ollie then. Vote for Ollie and Megan. <laughs> what team is Ollie even on? He's on the uh, he's on the dire Major, so he's red team. Well, he's he's maxing return. I think maxing return against Razor does make sense. Yeah. Razor does not do much damage. Yeah. He will and also, he's hitting you non-stop when he uses the static link, and therefore <laughs> you're just returning all the time. Yeah, it's kind of a it's a self-explanatory build on center. I feel like you're against a melee hero, you get double edge or hoof stomp. If you're against range heroes, you get retaliate, and you just win most of your lanes. That's true. I agree. I mean, Retaliate used to be the build. I think Midnight's in a bit of trouble here. He has popped the Frost Shield. No, he's going to be fine. Whoa, JCA. Oh, he's fine. Mid as well. Dreadison. Didn't get it. 
debate now with the huge hoof stomp, but I think they're both going to be okay. Veteran doing quite a lot of damage and almost killed Jabate. He does find Jabate Mail because now he's got rank 2 static link. Look how much damage it does. Veteran finds a double kill. I mean, rank 1, it's a bit rubbish, right? As soon as you've got rank 2, stealing 72 damage. That's all of their damage, plus you're now going to hit very hard. No kills yet in the top lane. The Doi's going to take a little bit of damage here. Nice spear away from Miles. We don't usually see Ollie Windranger. Not... Oh, I don't think I've ever seen. Well, we're Windranger. about to see the glory of it. Ollie prioritizing yeah. that range creep. That's good. Again, he's gone for two nulls before bottle. I guess this time it's okay. He hasn't really needed the bottle yet. Yeah. I don't like that, though. I think if you can get bottle before the minute four room, get three uses out of it and then get the room. I don't think there's no way you lose the lane if you're spamming your spells nicely. Warlock with only offensive heals. Yeah, Doi just been so aggressive with the with the heals. I've kept Bot this cam camera on the same person for way too long. JC is going to get out just about. TP's back to base. Midnight by the Five by the center. I love Doi just cap. He's always wearing it. Yeah. Like oh, that's a lot of damage. Down. Why doesn't he have any points in Storm Surge? The best ability in the entire game. <laughs> I mean, r one rank is 12% move speed. It is, it's quite it a is, lot. It's, it's, it's like value, right? three boots. Oh. Most of the fighting's been in bot lane. I mean, mid's been pretty close, but there's no kills yet. Rune. Okay, it's bounty time. Time to refill the bottle. He one. He's got it now. I mean, both of them do, so. Putting a bit of damage into the Mars. It's going to be okay, though. Not see any potential kills happening anytime soon. Veteran's having a pretty good lane, though. Not a lot of last hits, actually. Only 19, but then Ursa's only got 18, so very. Well, just very few CS on both cores. Yeah. Going back onto Miles. He's trying to get the spear in. Rex only going to take two tower hits. Three now. We've got the defensive heal. Oh, no, he misses the God's Rebuke. Rex takes about ten tower hits, but he still lives. Nice kill. But, you know, very aggressive play. It's a shame the God's Rebuke missed. I think he might have been okay. 84 stolen damage from the Razor. And how long does it last? 11 seconds. So he's trying to make the most of it. Doing a lot of damage to Jabate Mill. What is JCA doing? Doesn't have the cookie. You're not going to get a kill on midnight. Yeah, unfortunately, left a mile. I think he it? must have clicked too close to him. And yeah, it's. it's put it the other way. It's because he it's like he, he went over them. I guess yeah. in, in absolute melee range, it can happen. But the thing about Ursa, no regen in lane. You know, not and no mana regen, no health regen. After a big fight where he uses everything, he's in trouble. Nice yeah. sinister game. I think the bait going to go down. Yeah, he's definitely going down. Nice cookie, but it brings him into the tower. Even though you do get a stun on midnight. He almost had the damage to kill him, but not quite. Is JC just looking for a courier? He's been here for a while. No, Ollie's turned up. He can just dive and kill midnight straight away, but does he have vision? No, Ollie doesn't have vision. He sees him now. Doesn't get the power shot on anyone. He's going for the dive, but Ollie does not have enough damage. Doesn't even have a javelin. He gets the cookie, and as the gaze is cancelled, Ollie is completely under the tower. Interesting game. Ollie is the same level as Veteran. He's not very high level. Power shot misses again. Oh no. And meanwhile, you've got level 7 Death Prophet. Doesn't have any mana for ult. That's the saving grace for Ollie. That did not go as planned, that gank. Veteran has no yeah. mana or. You know, not much HP either. He's going sound in Yasha phase. Ooh, that takes a full power shot to the face. Not ideal. If Dan didn't, didn't choose to pop his ult, I think he could have probably... I don't, I don't know, I wasn't looking at him or where he was or what mana he was on, but had a good opportunity to take that mid tower while Ollie was... Uh, no, I didn't have any mana. No mana. So, Voyage will actually find a kill on Brex. He's... 
Deutsch is maxing out Shadow Word, and he has an early point of upheaval, so his build is quite uncommon. Usually you start seeing the max Fatal Bonds ready for the team fight, but he's thinking, no, my lane's, you know, quite aggressive. I want to max out the Shadow Word, which I think is fair enough. Yeah, it's a good way of scaling it uh, to go with the Mars, as we were saying earlier. Mars wants to kill potential usually in lane. Veteran, he he's doing so much damage to debate mother. He has to actually pop stampede just to get out. Yeah, level level one stamp um, upheaval is really bad, but level two is is a lot better. In fact, it, it doubles in strength, I think. Um, from rank one to rank two. I don't mm. know. The ult I have the storm is a pretty good ultimate, but yeah, I don't know enough about raids as well. So. I think it's okay with what he's gone. Oh, the cookie just misses. And Veteran goes straight back in again. I think Jabatemo's in a lot of trouble here. Nice sinister gaze. Jabatemo is going to get the stun. But I don't think you're going to escape Razor. Razor is a very fast hero. And you're being slowed. Oh, you're unfortunately blocking each other. He's going to get the kill with the plasma field. Doesn't do a lot of damage. 230, though, is, is enough to get the kill. If you hit it perfectly on max, that does a lot of damage, actually. If it's right on the max. I love how aggressive Doige is with the Shadow Words. He uses it more for damage yeah. than he does for healing. <laughs> that's it's, my, it's, that's it's my kind of player. It's tilt factor as well. Is someone getting drums on Radiant? Why would someone be getting drums? Is Doige in trouble here? He's taken four hits. Five hits. Six hits. Oh, the arena. Unfortunately, we missed the spear completely, but the arena does save Doid because Brex bounces right into it. You know, you can actually jump over the arena as Ursa, but you have to be right on the edge. In bot lane's where the action really is. That's probably one of the reasons they picked it, to be honest. Because it can deal with the Mars arena. Yeah, you can leap over it. You've got level 6 on the Warlock as well, two level 6s, so when the ults are ready, you've got a yeah. lot of potential. You're never going to really kill an Ursa though, because he can just pop his ult and he's safe. Level 7 on the Mars now. Oh, we've got Arcane Boots, so plenty of free mana. Level 6 Lich, level 4 Snapfire. Midnight's pretty strong, he uses Sinister Gaze, which costs a lot of mana. Look at the damage he takes in the Power Shot. But I think Veteran will find a kill on JCA. Out comes the Stampede, perfect Shackle into both of them. Midnight's going to go down. Ollie's going to pop his ult, but Ollie still has no damage. Never mind, he does have enough because, of course, he gets a full power shot to the face. Out comes a double edge, and that's going to get the kill. So, Ollie, the kill on top lane. Yeah, I see the ult has been popped. Brex and Kinder both very low. Brex pops his ult, but he does not have the damage to kill Miles. And he is going to go down. I mean, might as well. Just ult upheaval. Yeah. He used Fatal Bonds as well. He used all his mana. And now, he's got a go oh, this is a cool golem. Oh. Probably went for the GG tree on there. We've already taken the tower. Noodle's also going to find another kill. I mean, Ollie has done a bit of ganking, but Noodles has just found a kill and he's taken the tower and he's nearly got Yules. So if we have a look at the gold, you can see Noodles is comfortably ahead. Look at the gold that Miles has. How? 5,000 gold net worth 11 minutes. He's second on the leaderboard. I mean, Miles does this a lot when he plays offlane. He just ends up so farmed. Veteran finds yet another kill. Five kills, Veteran. Just slaughtering heroes left, right, and center. The Dyer's top tower is doing its best, but it doesn't look good. Let's have a look at. Yeah, you're right. CS, yeah, 66 CS on your offlane. I mean, that's basically perfect farm. Only 38 on Brex. Veteran doesn't have a lot of farm, but he does have a lot of kills. Five kills and an assist. He's already got the money for Yasha. So he's going to go for. He's going for Blade Mill. He's going Sanjin, and Yasha, and Blade Mill. So he does want to be able, maybe he's thinking, well, I can just use it against the Wind Ranger. Not that good against Ursa. Yeah. Miles finds a kill under the tier 2 tower. Poor JCA, just getting killed again and again. Is Miles in danger of being killed by an Ursa? Maybe. I mean, Ollie's turned up. Just going to TP out. Ollie's going to be in here with the shackle. Just gets in time. Literally the perfect time shackle. So Miles will go down. But had to bring Ollie there. Meanwhile, Noodles, he's just farming away. Picking up enough gold for the Yules. He can get it now. Miles Grin. Yeah, Miles grinning about being killed. That's a pretty good sport. Oh dear, Kendo. That's not where you want to ward. I can't see you getting away from this. Yeah, you can run into Roche. What's Roche going to do? Nothing. Just help get you killed. Help, yeah. It's another one of those Kinder Surprise warding missions. Unfortunately. 
Someone's on this round. Oh, we hear the stampede. Popping it in bot lane. We're trying to go on to veteran. Do we have the damage to kill him? I don't know if we do. Out comes a great ult. Oh, the shackle. It actually lands on him. And Jabemo isn't going to go down. Never mind. He does because Midnight just frost blasts him in the face. The Ollie with the perfect shackle yet again. But he will lose his pos 3, unfortunately. I think that's probably worth it for taking down Razor. The Noodles again just yeah. running around doing what he wants. Got the Yules ready. Got the level 2 ult. Yeah, at the moment, he is uh, pretty important for his team. Razor not having the greatest time. Although, he has got the five kills, but I think just recently he's dropped off a bit, so he needs to get that blade now. Like. He does. He's still doing okay on net worth. If you look at him yeah. compared to the Ursa, Ursa's got, I mean, still trying to go Battle Fury, but only has one component of it, a Ring of Health. So he's got a lot yeah. of gold to farm. What is that? 1,000, 1,400, 400, 2,800 gold? That's a long way to go when it's already 14 minutes in. Yeah. I mean, I said this last game and I was proven wrong, but I don't think Battle Fury is the, is the one this game. Not uh, when you're this far behind. Maybe we just pick no. up the Morbid Mask and get Basher? Yeah. You need to be able to fight because you're not going to be able to get Battle Fury and farm, you know, your two items that you need to fight. Razor is not that bad, but Veteran has literally gone 4 points Q, 4 points W, 1 point E, and he's gone a talent before even touching mm. his ultimate. I think it's okay. It removes armor. It's a 60 damage a strike. No, it strikes more than once a second. It's That's stronger yeah, than Pulse Nova yeah, from Leshrac. Wow, Midnight's taking a lot of damage from Debate Mail. Yeah, he needs to stop tempting the beast. Debate Mail's going to run and he's going to look for the kill on Midnight. Sinister Gaze, that is not what you want to be doing because it, it'll just run in and hit you. <laughs> Oh dear. He's actually max retaliate. He doesn't have a lot of damage. Doi just found JCA. Is he going to drop the golem on him for the solo kill? No, not worth it. Yeah, level up your ult, man. It's pretty good out of the storm. Good for farming as well. It's just a good ability. Went for the 8 agility talent over the health. What's he got next? There's a strength talent as well. He can get a health talent and a strength talent. But I think he's going to go both of the damage ones. I think you definitely go more static link damage steal. Yeah. Minus 0 0.1 I have to storm strike into. Well, that's actually pretty good. It might find Sam, yeah. Yeah, he's in trouble. And there's no way he escapes here. He's a fast hero with the phase boots, but now he's slowed and... There's no way he's getting away from this. Look how much damage Veteran has taken. Coming. I mean, Oli has turned up, but... Oh, he'll find a kill. Sinister Gaze. We don't have Sinister Gaze, but Veteran's stolen a lot of damage. Nice ultimate. That's going to get a kill. I mean, you could probably keep diving here as Veteran. You are very strong. You've got 174 damage, and now you've got Death Prophet in there as well. Mortimus Kiss is coming out. Is it going to kill Noodles? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's going to keep himself alive in yours. But when he comes down... Veteran, he's looking for it. He's starting to steal the damage. Nice use of the cookie. In fact, they're going to find the kill. Rex managed to get his ult up, and now Mars has turned up. And Mars, he will finally pick up the two kills. I mean, this is just all over the place, this fight. We didn't even get the Warlock Golem off. I mean, who actually won that? In the end, it was almost a perfect split. I think Radiant with the slight advantage. Radiant were, yeah, one hero up. Because now they can take the tower as well. So that's, that's a pretty nice benefit of, you know, winning that fight. Good timing of having the catapult there. Yeah. Or should I say, intentionally played. Yeah, he knew, yeah. right? Catapult wave, yeah. we need to go all in for so a team fight. started the fight at the oh, for sure. Interesting that Doidge is going Yules. I think Yules is just a really common pick up against Ursa because you can yeah. Yules Ursa for the full duration even in Enrage. So when yeah. you're a support who's getting murdered by him, just throw him in Yules and then you can ignore him. 17 minutes, Breck still has 1400 gold of Battle Fury to go. He's trying his hardest, but it's not going to be easy. Look at the net worth on Miles. Once again, just dominating it. Got the Vlads and the yeah. Blink at 17 minutes. He was one of the only people to survive that fight, so. Yeah, oh yeah, true. Well got the two kills at the end. Yeah, just walked in and thought, ah, oh, thanks for the kill, yeah. thanks for your tower. Pretty much. All towers already gone. Right They're going for a smoke. Uh, which is definitely the right play, especially if they find Brex on mid. If they find Ollie, it's good, because Ollie, no, they're not going to find Ollie. But they are going to find Brex. Brex from silence. Nice arena. 
He's right on the edge. It looked like he was going to be knocked out a couple of times. I there. thought he was, honestly. Yeah, so did I. I was like, oh, he's, he's out. Never mind. Oh, the upheaval. It doesn't quite catch him. And Razor's lost most of his damage. Still managed to get 56 using the blade mail, doing a bit of damage back when the Mortimus kisses. Can you get the double edge off? Yes, you can. But Jumaitmo takes a bit of damage for it. And Veteran's going to live. Gets the frost shield and the heal. Nice. Support's very good at protecting. Look, they killed everyone yeah. but Ollie. Ollie, the only person living from that. Supports did great to keep the Razor alive there. They did, throwing all the protection on him. I mean, it's yeah. actually quite good synergy. You can heal the Razor. You can also throw the Frost Shield on him. He's just running in. He's gone for Blade Mail and a Wind Lace and a Yasha. So when he's maxed out Storm Surge, he is going to be going pretty damn fast. He's also got Phase Boots, which he can activate. But, uh, it's only 10% speed on ranged heroes. I didn't realize how bad that item is on range compared to melee. I mean, they've got the, the ultimate up. You might have popped the Glyph, but you're still losing your tower, right? Yeah. Yeah. I catch Ollie here. Noodle still has his ult up. He's just gonna TP out. We've already used the uh used the Yules. Yeah. Did Ollie TP back to base? Yeah, he did. Ollie is level 14, so he's still the highest level in the game. He's nearly got the MKB. But one of it's a little bit is, too late. Windranger is not a great 1v5 hero when the other team is you know, these three kind of tanky cores who are doing lots of AoE damage and they're just five minus. When Ranger wants to, you know, pick people off on side lanes when they're split pushing, she's not good in team fights. Um, so, not until she's got more items. Like when yeah. when there's the, the BKB up and the blink and you can just but jump even on then, them. You can only kill one person, right? So, well, if, if you kill one person, you still need your team to have. Uh, the ability to kill some True. Other. I guess also if Miles knows what he's doing, as soon as Wind Ranger goes in, you know, he'll use Bulwark and he'll just absorb all of the damage. Yeah. Keep your team alive. So yeah, it'll be a tough game for Dai to get back into. Hopefully once this Battle Fury is done, they can uh, try and climb back into the game. Dyer have some very aggressive wards for a team that are playing quite passively. I feel like when you get to a certain MMR, you get this feeling that all of our wards need to be aggressive because that's what good warding <laughs> is. And then you forget why you're warding in the first place. You think, yeah. oh, oh, the more aggressive the ward, the better the play. It's not always yeah, the case. No. And I know nothing about warding, honestly. I'm, I'm like a herald one when it comes to warding. Oh so my, and it's really bad. I'm you're a support bored. player. I know, I <laughs> Don't do it. You've got no excuse. <laughs> the only place I know how to ward are in the mid lane. As soon as like six minutes has passed, my warding is just random. Like, oh, how about yeah, now? Slap too. it on the piece of ground. Me too. <laughs> and people say, why did you ward there? And I go, oh, I don't know. We were just standing in that area at the time, had one in the inventory, so I thought, this will look good here. Exactly. JC going to back off, doesn't know who's in the trees. Radiant have a full team up here. They're looking for the last tier 2 tower, 21 minutes in. They've already got the outpost. They're pretty dominant right now. Look at Dyer getting more aggressive wards in. We don't need to be down here. You need to be defending your base. I think they're actually going to go for high ground now. Is Razor's Ag still your ult hits buildings? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. That's pretty good. It also doubles your ult potential damage. I think he should go Ag in this game. I'd like to see it. Um, Never mind, Noodles. They're, they're actually going to back off. I think they either could go Roche or they could take a tower. Or they can aimlessly run around doing nothing. Yeah, they're really wasting this. They found Oli. Oh, why was Oli there? Get speared straight into the tower. He's going to go down. That's a big kill. There's that aggressive ward coming to play. Looks like we found Ogre. Yule stopping the TP. And there's no way Kim is getting away from this. So they didn't take high ground, they didn't take Roche, but they did manage to find two kills. That has put them Yeah, I think that's ahead. quite good for them. Oh yeah, of course. It's With good. the tier 2 on top of it, it's, uh, they didn't waste the exorcism like I thought they were going to. No, they did make some use. It does give 20% move speed. No, it's 18%. I didn't realise it went 16, 18, 20, the more you learn. Me neither, I couldn't have told you. I feel like... Death Prophet. Both of them went Blade Mail, so we thought about it, it was correct, but I yeah. feel like maybe he should get Aghanims first. I don't think Death Prophet. In, yeah, I don't think he's in that desperate need of a yeah. BKB right now. I feel like. Yeah, he he's get... got the kind of two defensive items already, and they, <laughs> they will struggle to kill Look him. at these Dire Wards. <laughs> so many in this triangle. Yeah. 
Honestly, they've yeah, covered their enemy. Me, uh... They've covered the enemy base with wards, and look where the radiant are. They're completely in your jungle, <laughs> which you have no vision of, and they're in your yeah, triangle. What? Yeah, fine. Gives... I know. I said I was bad at warding, but I think if if you're this far behind, you need to ward defensively. Yeah, Maybe one do. or two aggressive wards, because all of these wards you're never going to be playing in the di in the radiant jungle because you're pinned back into your base. Well, well, why is Ollie so low? They can't match. He did find. He can... the... Oh, maybe the blade, the blade mode. mail. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Um, yeah, that was um, probably quite a lot of blade mail damage, but that's a that's a really good kill. It is. I think he might die for it though. I don't know why he's still here farming. If he dies, this is going to be sad. Silence. He's suck. Very dead. No, suck, suck. You should go, Stan. Stan, hello, Dan. Dan. What on earth was that? <laughs> What? That was a. Mm. Is he lagging? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> he was right on top of him. He could have got instant spirit siphon death. Um, song. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, he's being generous. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he thought Wind Ranger was on his team or something. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Oh uh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Weird. Play. Okay, well now I die. Oh, they've actually got the axe. Oh, axe on that fire, yeah. and they sent him in. Look at that stun into stun, into Shaco, into Mortimus kisses. That is a great pick off. Kill streak ended, and looks like it's the dire's chance to shine. Yeah, they've hit their timings. They are. Ollie's running in. Doesn't find the Shaco. Ollie's level 18. Now comes the golem, three man golem, but then Jabema gets a three man stun. Veteran's running in with the stampede, breaks the damage chain. I think Jabatema might go down here. You don't have Sinister Gaze. I don't think you really have anything for him. Well, now your whole team are on him. So all you're going to get for this is Jabatema. Pops his own blade mail. That's a very um, ambitious yeah, TC. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get away with that. I think you take that on the dial, though, because you got the Death Prophet early. The, the Golem got used, and Sam did really well to break up the fight with that three-man stun. So, you know, I don't think you can be too annoyed by that result. You've got to be scared of the Ags now, because this is a support who's managed to get Ags at 25 minutes. Um, you fire the Centaur in, then you get the stun, then you have Shackle, then you've got Mortimus Kisses. And that's true, yeah, we've got Desso yeah. on Mars, because why not? When you're this far ahead, just go for it. Yeah. And now you're going to take Rose. So that's pretty good. You can pass that even onto Veteran. He was actually going to pop his ult for it, which I think is rather unnecessary. And he takes Damn, the Aegis, which is also unnecessessary. <laughs> Oh, well, we find a kill. Look at Mile doing so much damage. Brex is going to get his up, never mind, because he's going to get Frost Blasted to death. I mean, Noodle still has his ult up, and it does give him a lot of move speed. So he's going to get the Yules on Kinder. He will actually find some kills for it. Yeah. Oh, out comes a creep. That was a, a Snapfire lobbing a creep to get a stun. His ult has now run out. Ollie yeah, is going to push the tower. Kill, they would have been kills that they could have got without the ult. Absolutely. So He's not got it for this push, but I mean, they don't really need it, to be fair. I mean, they could use their own glyph as well if they wanted to here. They are going oh, to. Malcolm's okay. doing the right thing of using Bulwark, tanking the AoE. Out comes Morton's Kisses. Noodles is going to use yeah. it. Say goodbye. Veteran doesn't do a lot of damage to towers while he's got no static link up. But you've got Desso on Miles, so they will take the tower. I think it's time for some rats. They're going to start with the range racks, but they've still got a catapult. Yes, they lost a tier 2. Debatement goes in with the four-man stun, but is that worth it? I don't think so. The entire die team are here. They stun him into the racks. Good thing he didn't take the melee rack. JC picks him up and then spits him out. This is huge. Ollie's got the BKB. Veteran's in trouble. He's going to go down. Out comes the Lich. Oh, it's doing a lot, but not enough. Miles is going to go down. Never mind. Miles is really tanking. Gets four stuff oh, back in. He's got his arena again. He's actually going to use it. He's going to need it quick. Is he going to get the stun onto Ollie? Yes, he does. I think Ollie's going to go down now. It looked really big for the Dyer, but now it's a bit of a turnaround. Ollie is running around. He's been used. Just needs any bit of damage to kill him. Oh, Doesn't get lot. killed by the Crypt Swarm. Gets a nice power shot, and that's actually going to be Midnight Kill. Super Nils, be careful. You'll find a kill. This is just all over the place. Ages. He does have Aegis. Yeah, that's true. So he's going to come back to life, but now Ollie's ready. He's got nothing to shackle him to. Does get the shackle onto Doge. Two seconds. Does get the rock. And that's going to be another kill onto Brex. No, it's not. Brex is actually going to live. Oh. And now Noodles is dead. 100% dead. If only he had ice. Yeah. I mean, that was an all over the place fight. It looked like it was good for Radi uh, for Dyer. Then it looked like good for Radiant. Then it looked good for Dyer again. Yeah. I can't even remember what happened. <laughs>
I mean, they had a, a really good play from JCA because Centaur went in, did the four-man stun, then they went on Centaur, so he picked him up and just spat him Same. melee range back into the entire enemy team. Huge yeah. stun. Ollie with the BKB. They managed to take out Razor pretty quickly, but the Lich Shop was bouncing around doing a ton of damage. But, um... And he had no exorcism. Yeah, no exorcism in the fight, so... Then I'm feeding right again. He now has max rank exorcism, and this ability scales very, very well. It all, it doubles in strength, and it goes up another yeah. 50%. So, the thing you have to learn I about stick. exorcism is it takes time for the spirits to come out, so you've got to pop it like quite far in advance. Yeah. But I think, you know, Radiant is still going to be very happy to take team fights, because obviously... Oh, be careful about going to Ollie, because he does have BKB. He's just going to run straight through, but we've still got the arena. This is going to do a lot of damage. Kinder's going to go down. I think Jabate was going to go next. We have the Mortimus Kisses, though, doing quite a lot of damage to the Radiant, but they're going to be fine. Veteran's running in, but he didn't get much of a link. He only got four damage stolen. He's going to have very Ooh, little impact here. Die. They've picked up oh, Ollie. Oh. They're just throwing Ollie away. Yeah, I guess. But Ollie does have his ultimate. I think Snapfire's going to go down next. Big damage from Miles. And now we have the exit. We've actually found Ollie. Nice spear. Perfect timing. That's the power of yours. Ollie's going to go down. Now, finally, exit system is up when you're actually at a base. <laughs> Some buybacks are happening. Three buybacks. But why buyback? You've lost your base and they're out of there. Are you really yeah. going to find any return kills? I don't think so. You've just thrown away another sort of 2,000, 3,000 gold. Huge fight. I'm not entirely sure why the buybacks happen. They're not going to make anything happen either. They don't have gobble up. So those buybacks were a little bit uh, out of place, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ollie to die in the first time there, he turned around for a bit of a greed power shot to kind of get it in, but Dan got close enough with the ult movement speed and got the yours off, so. Yeah, he did. Now, you already get 20% move speed from Exorcism. The talent gives you haste. The main point of having haste is it makes you immune to all slows as well. But then yeah. eight spirits, if you're winning the game and you're just sitting and sieging high ground, that's a lot more spirits. You go from 24 to 32 spirits. So... And to be honest, I don't think you'll have that much problem with slows this game anyway. No, when you're moving 20% faster and they don't have any slows. really fast. They've got, you know... Uh, what's Ogre's W called? Ignite. Yeah, that, and so he's got BKB, so like, yeah, it's whatever. Not really, not really necessary. Razor's nearly got BKB, which he definitely needs at this point. He did go for both the damage talents, as I expected. I mean, Miles now also has Assault QS. He's still the top net worth this game. He's also the top last hits, and he's 7 2 10. He has had a very, very good. Mars game. But, you know, Mars is really meta at the moment, and Miles has always been good at Mars, so it's yeah. just a match made in heaven for him. Match made in heaven, yeah, absolutely. Brex has done well to uh, come back using the Battle Fury. He's he got, has. He's got... Like, look at the Mars. damage Miles is doing. Kinder Surprise is going to go down. Why the Dire engaging? I'm not sure that's the right play. Debate Mars now completely trapped. Stampede is not going to save now. him. They're trying to go on to Noodles, but why would you go on a target with Blade Mail? You're just not going to do enough damage to him. He pops the Blade Mail. And Ollie just has to back. He does have Wind Run, so Ollie will get away. And they have committed the Golem okay. and Exorcism. So they're going to have to try and make some use of it. Exorcism doesn't last super long. 20 seconds remaining only. Yeah, Ollie's running away. He TPs back to base. We do have Exorcism up, but as I said, the time is really running out. Though we do have a Golem still, and there's two versus five. In fact, we've got two Golems because Aghanims is up for Doid. They're going to glyph for the rest of Exorcism. Shack all the golems together, but do the golems care? Nah, they've got 110 damage each. They need to go and cut a wave. Or do... Nothing. Well, I mean, doing nothing is the right play, but... You know, doing nothing by going and farming Oh, they've else. brought Ollie back, but I don't think they have the means to kill him. They've silenced him for quite a long time, but he does have uh, his BKB. No, it doesn't. It's just not ready. Look at the arena from Miles, catching two people in there. Rex has his ult up, she's not going to take a lot of damage, but he, now he's speared into the arena. Do they have the damage to kill him? Yes, they most definitely do. Ollie's popped his ult on Noodles again. Not a target who really gives that much of a damn. Shackle. Nice Shackle, but also prompts a buyback from Brex. They're going all in onto Miles. I think Miles is going to die here. He's popping Bulwark. He's trying to delay as much as possible. Gets a big heal off. He will finally go down. Ollie's PKB is about to run out. It has run out. 
Multicast style into Veteran, Doge is going to be brought down. This is looking bad for the Radiant, they need to get out of there and quick. Yeah, they need to run. The, the, Jubate mode doesn't actually get stunned, never mind, Neil's just going in with the BKB, out comes the ult from Lich. Only can bounce into two, I think they might actually kill down Brex. Noodles is trying, he's got yours. Crypt Swarm underneath, misses the Crypt Swarm. But I think Brex is going to go down. Brex doing a lot of damage to Noodles actually, maybe I'm wrong. They got Max as well. Nope. Oh, they almost get the kill they do with the triple multicast and the power shot. So this is some big kills from the Dire, but they did still lose Brex again. Midnight is just constantly running. I mean, he's got Glimmer Cape. He's going to use it. Oh, they know because they have a sentry. Surely you know he's gone up here. Yeah, there's no chance of him escaping. You've also got a Wind Ranger running at you. Poor Midnight. He's waiting to die, basically. The bait now steals the kill. In true centaur fashion, any hero with a nuke needs to use it for the last hit. It's just the rules. <laughs> I don't make the rules. So if we look at the, the net worth, even after that random fight where all of Radiant died, they're still winning. They've got two lanes of racks. There's only one tower left to go. Whereas the Radiant, they've still got their tier one up in the top lane. They are about to lose it, but they don't need to buy back. They can just chill. In place. Yeah, don't do what the Dyer did and... Probably buy back a little bit. Ollie did really well in that fight to uh, Whoa. use. I mean, Jabate Mail, he's been gone on by Miles. Miles is going to pop his ult. Yes, he is going to keep Jabate Mail in place. Ollie's going on Doidge. Doidge has yours. Maybe should have used Ollie there. Uh, and look, Bulwark. He's using the Bulwark. And now Ollie's going to go down. The Golem, of course, goes through BKB. You had to drop it to kill Ollie, but is it worth it? I think so. It's a very long yes. cooldown. But, I mean, he Ollie does have quickening charge. The damage they could do through BKB. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for the sub. Getting a moat apparently. I'm gonna thank you with the thank button. There we go. Got some suspicious <laughs> Christmas emote. Pretty sus. I think this still looks pretty bad for the die. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've I'm got exorcism sure. ready to yeah. go. He's the taken the 400 cat. health talent as well. The Warlock Golem is still here. 15 seconds. Jabetmo goes in with a stun, but I'm not sure that's what you want to do. JC is going to be brought down by Miles. Yep, he's got the kill. Really Exorcism is up. I think there's no way you're going to fight. There's no BKBs, no buybacks. What are you going to do? You can't run in. Noodles is just on top of their team. Jabetmo just being killed by the spirits. He has to retreat into his base. And Brex. Yes, you might pop your ult. Sinister Gaze cancelled to Spear, which is interesting. But he yeah. is silenced for so long, Brex gets instantly killed. I was so confused. I thought he'd like pinned him to the death buff there. No, it's weird. Like, and their GG has been called by Brex. Jabatemur goes in yet again, trying to do whatever damage he can. Will they get the kill on him? No, they won't. The Ancient will explode. Yeah, that's how game one should have ended. Yeah, definitely. But instead we had a 15 minute game that was exactly the same. It was pretty similar. I mean, I did have my vote on Radiant, and it's mostly because yeah. I felt like the Dire really counterpicked themselves, like picking Windrange into Mars, picking Ursa into Lich. I just, I just yeah. feel like their draft didn't really make a lot of sense. Whereas Radiant, they had you know big Mars ult, they had lots of stuff to put in it, they had fast heroes who could run around. It's just a yeah. lot, lot more synergy, really. And yeah, the the Windranger into the Death Prophet into the Eraser didn't work at all because of those blade mills that we talked about and the fact that if she runs alongside you she's gonna die as well so interesting pick but ollie did quite well out of it i thought he had yeah. some really good shackles actually he did now he does tend to do well I look at the top yeah. hero damage that game actually quite comfortably it was razor doing nearly ten thousand more well about six thousand more than any other hero wow. Mostly from auto attacks, actually, but a lot. 9,000 just from Plasma Field. Just spamming his generic nuke yeah. actually did 9,000 damage. 3,500 from Blade Mail, 2,000 from Blade Mail on Noodle. So they, they did make use of it. And as I said, mostly on Windranger. 2,000 Blade Mail damage on Windranger. Yeah, definitely. Six, six, 1,600 on to Ursa from Noodles. So yeah, Blade Mail's are good against Windranger, especially if you're a core who wants to stay alive. So there you go. Also, big Warlock plays, of course. 9, 3, and 14. What a strong support.